In the Swedish city of Malmo, property developers and energy companies have joined forces with the city government to build Vastra Hamnen, a 20-year experiment in urban regeneration that claims to be the first energy carbon neutral neighborhood in Europe. What we try to do is to make it easy to live sustainably in Malmo. We are trying to save energy and use it uh, in a smarter way. In a little over a decade, a 175-acre industrial wasteland has been transformed into an eco-district with plenty of public transport, renewable energy and waste recycling. I call this uh, hedonistic sustainability. It's like you can kind of live a good life and you don't really have to think about it. A variety of renewable energy sources generate enough power to provide all the electricity and heating used by the residents. Excess power is supplied to the city in times of surplus, balancing out power drawn from it when on-site energy production is lower. In this apartment that I live in now, the biggest thing is the heating for me. Water is led into your house, into the radiators, and, and that's how you get your heat. Uh, but what's interesting about that development is how you actually heat the water nowadays. So now we use waste, we use solar and wind power and so on to heat. At Vastra Hamnan, little is wasted. Household rubbish doesn't go to landfill. Instead, it's also helping to fuel the district. There's no need for rubbish trucks. Residents simply deposit their waste in vacuum chutes. An innovative system of underground pipes transports it to central collection points before it's sent to the most efficient waste-to-energy plant in Sweden, which has an advanced gas cleaning system to combat emissions. There's about 2,500 tonnes coming in here every day. Uh, this bunker can contain 18,000 cubic metres of waste, and we have a capacity here to incinerate about 60 tonnes per hour, 24-7. We incinerate it to use the energy, so we don't cool down anything. So all the energy in the combustible waste is put to use in the district heating grid or for electricity production. Waste recycling also plays a vital role in the district's sustainable transport. Food waste is converted into biogas to power all the local buses. Every 10 kilograms of waste collected produces the biogas equivalent of a liter of petrol. It's not the systems, it's how we use them. It's not so simple that you only put the technique there. Then people living in the buildings or in the area, they have to understand where they are living and they have to want to use it in the right way. The overall development plan has been designed to get people out of their cars. As well as environmentally friendly buses, there is a network of footpaths and cycleways and a pool of communal electric vehicles and charging stations. I think the biggest behavioural change that I see here in people is that they have an a fairly easy time to let go of their cars and they bike. When the weather gets really, really bad, they take the bus. Changing residents' attitudes to energy use is being taken a stage further. New homes feature around 100 smart grid meters, which tell tenants exactly how much energy they're using at any one time. The residents can have 100% control over their energy consumption. So what you can do in this iPad application is monitoring everything that goes down in, in the apartment. You can very easily see where we are during the day in terms of, of price. And you see the, the red uh, staples here are, are the, the more expensive ones. And you can realize, OK, maybe I want to postpone my, my activities in, in my apartment uh, for, a, for a cheaper hour later on. And then you have a total overview of the production. So this is the, the uh, uh, photovoltaic, take. And you have the from the windmill as well. Last but not least, you have the overall view from the cost. So you can see, OK, down to money and down to uh, CO2 uh, outage, how much do I, do I consume and how big are my footprints. 
people are really going home trying to implement at least some of the ideas that we are working with. So it is important. It makes, it, it does matter what you do. 